Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks Wargaming and welcome to our latest video and today I have a showcase video for the latest edition for our British Airborne for our bolt action. Um, I also wanted to give a little bit of a channel update as well. Obviously we haven't actually released any content uh, recently and that's mainly down to the fact that current situation means that me and Robin can't get together to film any battle reports, can't get together with anybody to film any battle reports at the moment and also I've been in the process of moving house which I'm now in and Robin uh, has had his extension finished so he will be ready to go there and I'll be ready to go here as soon as that situation changes and we can get together to film battle reports again but I have been busy doing hobby when I can because of house move um, I've built some more scenery from foreground which I'm going to do a video for and obviously I've been working on other painting projects but I finished the airborne vehicle, the Jeep. And I wanna show that to you right now. So this is the Jeep finished and uh, all ready to go onto the battlefield. Now, I did show this at the end of one of the other British Airborne videos and uh, obviously it was built. Robin built this one and then handed it over to me to paint. And I've got to say, I really enjoyed painting this up. I thought it was really, really good, um, really enjoyed it. It was an interesting one to do, looking at the historical photos and then obviously looking at the Warlord Games website where they've got a painted up version of this. Um, and that's kind of along the lines that I went with. So one thing Robin did do is magnetise the trailer for there. So it will actually not fall off, he says confidently. Um, so yes, it is magnetised, which makes it really helpful. But we'll start with the trailer first. Obviously we've got the British Airborne guy sitting in the back there and I've just followed the normal painting scheme that I would do for my British Airborne. I've also gone with the grey camo on the uh, cloth over the back of the trailer which is what is shown on the Warlord Games website and when you look at the historical photos yeah it, it does make sense. Um, so that's that and then you move on to the actual Jeep where you've got another three of the British Airborne guys exactly the same painting as all my British Airborne. Um, I love the detail on this, you know, like the shovel and, and the wire on there. And then you've got ammo crates and you've got backpacks and you've got mats or sleeping bags and, and jerry cans all over the place, all in that trailer and all in this one. Um, so yeah, really, really nice touches of detail. And when you do look at the historical photographs, there is actually a grey camo, um, similar to what's on the trailer, down here, down this side of the Jeep, but I haven't added it on. Um, I didn't think it actually warranted it, to be honest. I didn't think it actually show up on camera when it was in a battle report. Um, actual modelling-wise and painting-wise, quite simple. It's, it's quite a block colour. It's metal. It's been quite a while since I've had to paint up metal. Obviously, there are a few um, Wall of Games miniatures that are metal that I've done. But vehicle-wise, first one I've done for quite a long time. But really really good fun to paint up actually I think the biggest problem that I had or the biggest not problem but maybe the the biggest issue or where I struggled a little bit was getting these guys glued in I, th I think the um, obviously they fit quite tightly in there because they've got to but then actually trying to get them into their positions with the super glue on to hold them into place was a little tricky but now they're in I think they look absolutely fantastic positioning that gun in the right location as well was a little tricky obviously it's it's mounted on the spindle there um, but yeah really really interesting and really good miniature to build it was nice to be able to go off and look at the historical photos and the Warlord Games website to actually get inspiration to paint this up um, I don't exactly have the best lighting at the moment in here but hopefully it is showing up okay on camera um, but yeah it, it's good it was really good fun to paint up um, all the extra detail I was saying in there was good fun and obviously you got all your jerry cans in there with that guy sitting as well um, but that is the latest addition for our British Airborne now I do have uh, an anti-tank gun to paint up I do have the I think it's the flamethrower team to paint up as well so they're going to be next on to the painting station for the British Airborne um, apart from that we're kind of almost done there is a tank that we've got as well but that's with Robin at the moment um, so yeah we're not doing too bad on the British Airborne front the, the forces are expanding quite quickly and I'm looking forward to, to fielding them in a full force on their own on the battlefield obviously they've been on with the Americans in support but it'd be nice to get the British on 
fully on their own and not needing the Americans for for backup. Um, but what do you think, guys? Please leave us a comment. What do you think to the paint scheme of the Jeep? What do you think to um, the miniature? Have you got this? Have you used it in a game? Uh, any hints and tips for it? Any do's and don'ts? Let's go through with the don'ts. Don't do this in a game with it because it's terrible. It would be really, really helpful because I've never used this before in a battle and I can't wait to get it on there and see what it actually is like. But thanks for watching, guys. Please leave us a comment. Like I said, with the do's and don'ts, please leave us a like. It does massively help out the channel. Why not subscribe if you haven't done so already? Don't forget to click that bell icon so you never miss any of our content. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.